this week coming up, which is 40 bucks. I'm just trying to get, you know, especially just like gifts, um, a little bit of extra income to help pay for my room. Because I do have to pay my phone bill this week, you know, coming up I have to pay my phone bill. And because I have to pay my phone bill, I won't have enough, I don't know if I'll have enough to pay for my room. It's only for one night on Thursday. But I was hoping I could get a little bit more so that on Friday next week I could pay, you know, be able to pay for a full week. Yes, I do. It's just I work, which you can see. My shirt. It says Sonic. I work at Sonic. And it's starting to slow down so the tips aren't coming in as much like the cash tips I'm still getting credit card tips but the cash tips aren't as much so I don't have that as income but I do work and you can tell because I just I'm still in my uniform from work it's $80 for the night for the one night, it's 80 bucks. That's what I'm going to pro probably be going live all weekend to get, like, you know, my gift goal. You know, get gifts and get a little bit of help that I can get so that I can be able to pay, you know... You know, so... I don't end up being short and not being short and not being able to pay for the room and me and my kids being out on the street. Well, the whole okay. So, the amount of what the room costs for one night is a full $80. Okay, not the only one, so don't come come at me for that. There's multiple people, so. Well, my situation is I'm not making quite enough at work, which at this point I'm more than likely going to have to... More than likely gonna have to possibly in the ninety-five percent of the people who follow her can't stand her. Hey, Kirsten. But gift goals at the top of the screen, guys. That'll help, and I'll get that. Even though that TikTok takes takes a little bit of it. Um, once I cash out at the end of the night, at the end of this live, um. I'll get that on Wednesday. It is so expensive. I'm in an extended stay. I pay $560 um, a week. But I can only pay for like most weeks depending on and if I have the money to pay for a full week, I will. But when I do, it's either five or six nights at a time. With my job, how can I plan ahead to make sure I have money in the future when um you know to save money when I'm not making enough money and I And what, I can't ask for a little bit of help?
You don't like that I'm in this position of asking for money? Why don't you send me money? Or help me by sending gifts, Danny Campbell. Uh, no, I'm not a deadbeat. You don't know the definition of a deadbeat, apparently. And it, and you're right, it is hard to save these days with the economy the way it is and how expensive Mommy, everything is. No, I'm not always on here asking for money. Megs, is it wrong to come on a platform and ask for money and ask for help? No, it's not. Yes, Vicky, at least I'm working. I can ask for a little bit of help every once in a while. And yes, we do need all need help sometimes. Raise, raise, raise. Don't stand, okay? I'll raise, raise. What's in? He's in the box. Why are you in the box, you silly? My son's in the box over there. He fell out of the box. <laughs> right, but, uh, you know, it is hard to believe some of the people on here because they lie and say they need money for one thing and use it for something totally different. But when I got my money last week, I actually used it to pay for my room. Now I'm in that position again. And because of my phone bill, because of my phone bill, I'm needing a little help here. That's why I have my gift goal so you guys can send gifts and even though TikTok takes a part of the gifts, once I cash out at the end of the night, I'll still have a little bit of extra income. I had a car. I sold my car because I don't I never drove it. hard to live in an extended stay, especially with me not working enough hours, getting enough. I probably could, but the income-based housing isn't in a good area, and with two special needs children, even though it might be, you know, what is bet, you know, a good at what is good for me. I don't feel safe. Being in an income based area, income based housing area, because of the fact of the matter that it's not in a good area, and I have two special needs children. That is not what. It Everybody comes on TikTok and gets gifts for extra income. Lots of people do it. Don't 
he got me. And he got me. Oh, and oh. Yes, this is temporary, and I'll get through this, and this is why I need a little bit of help. Most of our low-income housing, income-based housing, isn't in the greatest area here. Thank you, Cassie. I appreciate it, Cassie. I don't. Okay, so I'm going to explain this to you. reason I'm in this extended stay is because I have no credit. I owe to the last place I lived, and I don't make enough to qualify for a place. No, I don't get disability for them, but I'm going to, after my son goes to the endocrinologist on the 24th, I'm going to use what I get from the endocrinologist, that information plus what I already have, to get him qualified. I'll go. And I don't do that. I came on twice last week. And I'm coming on this week. Vicki, you're right. I'm not being picky. I'm thinking of my family and what is safest for my family when I have a special needs child who... A child who likes to try to take off out the door and knows how to unlock a door. I'm looking at what's safest for my son. Because being in an unsafe area and if he were to get out by some means, for whatever reasons, if that ever happened and he stepped foot out, something could happen to him. Either one of my children. I'm just trying to think of the safety of my children. My question is, Mr. Lepsky. I work at Sonic. I have been here since last November. All those kids went up. Section 8 here is only open once a year or as need be. I'm for sure my youngest because he has problems with his brain. What, me? Where, no, Lucas, where he has a cyst on his brain, but it's a benign cyst where it's not a concern. He has to have it, um, an MRI down in it once a year. They said it looks like a, um, the shape of it looks like a snowman. What, darling? What? No, Lucas' cyst looks like a snowman.
We are two. Chugga truck on a station on a roll. And yes, I know there are, but it's just safety reasons. And I, you know where my son can't get out. I don't feel safe being a single mother in an area like that. That's just me. And for the person, um, Janice, it's not excuses. SSI pays $914 a month. Ocean Blue, my backstory is I gave up my apartment last year um, because of raising rent and for what I was going to have to pay um, for that for a one bedroom. And for the, just for the apartment itself, I didn't feel like it was worth it. And I came into a position of I couldn't pay what I owed. So I gave it up and did get help living in a hotel, not the one I'm in now, when I was in before this, for two weeks. So that helped a little bit, but my mom was staying with me, so she helped a little bit. And she's helped a little bit, but other than that, I mean, I've been, you know, I got a little bit of help from my dad. And I've been doing it by myself, other than that. It's a little better than where... I would get like low income housing or income based housing. If you guys don't like that I'm asking for help, then leave my life. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Janice, I've had my tongue pierced since June 28th of 2011. Oh, and my ears are pierced too. And I've had those pierced for years too. I think I got my last ear piercing in like 2013. So come at me again. About fucking piercings. <laughs> Haven't bought a tongue. Come here, buddy. I got it. It's okay. Mm, it's okay, baby. It's okay. I bought you. It's fine. Get out of the window before you pop the screen out. And then we have a broken screen. Yeah, but me being where I'm at now, if he gets out the door, he's inside a building. Versus being outside a building. I mean, no, it's not okay for him to get out. I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying it's a little safer being in a building than it is not being in a building. Quit, Lucas. Yes, I'm in a hotel now, Katie, or Kate. I barely make enough to 
pay for my room every month. Thanks for the follows, guys. No, my parents don't. No. Oh, yeah, but you'll help someone who sits on their fucking ass and does nothing for themselves. But someone who does, you won't help. Is that is that how it is? What vape? What are you talking about? My fucking cup? It's a damn cup, not a vape. And if you're talking about this thing that I'm playing with, it's chapstick, not a vape. Nope, I live in a one room, um, extended stay hotel room. It's basically like a, um, like a studio apartment. I tell the Mario where I live. I barely afford what I'm paying every Mommy. month. Mommy? What, son? I tell the Marion where I live. Yeah, he knows. He lives a, a floor above you, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Number one or two? Yeah, I did ask for help mommy, the other night, mommy, too. Or one or two, or one or two, mommy. And there's up a floor. Four? Yes. Turn around, turn around. Hold on, I'm reading comments, guys. I'm a little behind. No, they're not very delayed. It's just I'm... God, I've got it scrolled up. I'm scrolling... Because I like to, like, read everybody's comments, comment where it needs to be commented. I'm part-time. I'm not being rude. Everybody lives beyond their means, for the most part. Most, um, <laughs> majority of households have to have at least you have to have a two income household at least to survive for most households. Being